Good afternoon, I am Alice Barana, I am a PhD student uh, at the Department of Mathematics at the University of Turin. Uh, I am also a mathematics teacher in the secondary school. Um, in this uh, presentation, I'll speak about uh, the project Scuola dei Compiti, which in English is uh, the School of Homework, uh, and how we could uh, use adaptive teaching strategies to reduce uh, failure rates. Um, what uh, teacher that uh, um, enters in a classroom uh, find in front of him or her? Um, many children or students of different nationalities, also because the projects of international mobility are more and more common. Um, students with learning diseases, students with individual attitudes and inclinations, um, each one has his own learning, a different learning style. But, uh, Everyone in the classroom, including the teacher, have common learning objectives. So, um, the teacher has to um, use adaptive teaching strategies, that is to apply different instructional strategies to different group of learners, so that the natural diversity prevailing in the classroom does not prevent anyone uh, to, um, from achieving success. We use these uh, strategies in the project The School of Homework, which is uh, proposed by the Department of Education Policies of the City of Turin in 2012. Uh, the project is aimed to, uh, at reducing the dropout rate. It is mainly addressed to students of grade eight and nine, which in Italy is the transition from the lower to the upper secondary school. Uh, so it's a delicate uh, period for uh, students. And this project, uh, since uh, its beginning, involved uh, about uh, 7,500 students. So the, um, the target of this project uh, that we have uh, uh, deduced from the questionnaires that uh, uh, every student filled after the project are students aged uh, from 13 to 15, so in the full period of adolescence with all uh, its uh, problematics. Uh, they have low grades in mathematics, uh, Italian and or foreign lang languages. Uh, many of them, uh, about the 23%, are not Italian, and they mainly live in the poorer suburbs of the, the city of Turin. Uh, they often have little familial support, and uh, they um, have show low motivation, uh, low self-confidence, and have difficulties in uh, learning. Uh, this is how the project is uh, organized. There are nine week afternoon courses of uh, uh, Italian maths and foreign languages that are the subjects where uh, students have uh, difficulties. Students can attend the course where uh, they, they, they are insufficient at school. Um, Lessons uh, uh, last uh, two hours uh, in the afternoon after school, two hours uh, each week, and uh, are attended by little groups uh, of uh, five or six students, not more, so that uh, um, a peer-to-peer -peer approach uh, can be uh, pure, so it can be um, applied. Um, these lessons are not uh, uh, taken, um, held by teachers, but, but, but by tutors, which are university students um, who, stu who study the, this uh, subject, the subject of these courses, uh, and they, they are not so older than uh, the students, uh, they are uh, something like the elder brothers. And uh, these courses are repeated twice uh, a year, uh, in on autumn and uh, in spring, since uh, uh, its uh, its beginning. So, 
sorry. Okay, um, mathematics courses, there are two kinds of mathematics courses in this project, the traditional mathematics courses and the experimental one. While the traditional um, courses are, uh, take place in the classroom, experimental mathematics courses take place in the computer lab and in an e-learning platform. Um, while traditional courses use the paper and pen for the lessons, in uh, experimental courses uh, uh, there is the use of uh, learning technologies, uh, in particular uh, Maple, Maple TA and so on, we'll, uh, I'll, show you, I'll show it uh, later. Uh, and um, traditional mathematics courses use traditional methodologies, while uh, experimental one uses innovative learning methodologies. And um, um, after the two hours in presence, there are also an hour online and uh, uh, one hour, uh, one weekly hour online, and uh, an asynchronous online support. So uh, every time the student has uh, difficulties uh, when he is studying alone uh, at home, he can find uh, online the tutor support. What is the main question of the research that I'm presenting? How do the digital asset and the innovative methodologies of experimental mathematics courses facilitate adaptive teaching practice? So uh, I'll start with the didactic methodologies that we use in experimental courses. We start from a real world problem, so the problem solving approach with the engaging starting points, uh, with able to catch the, uh, the student's attention. Um, tutors have to find the most suitable approach, problem, realistic problem that can um, attract each student. This, uh, the use of uh, real-world problem solving clarify the usefulness of mathematics, uh, facilitates uh, the comprehension of, uh, of the theory, and uh, it's a motivational lever for students uh, who need uh, to be motivated. Then we solve the problem using Maple. And this is really useful because um, every student can uh, find its uh, strategy, its solving strategy, and uh, explore diff different solutions. Um, he can get uh, an immediate feedback of the correctness of the calculations um, through the automatic computations and uh, um, different ways of represent representations uh, are uh, possible according to the student's uh, uh, learning style. Um, each um, in a lesson in, uh, in a laboratory, the tutor can uh, leave each student free to solve their problems, um, even each one with a different problem, uh, because they are um, automatically gu guided by the, the steps, the solution uh, by the system. After the, um, the problem solving activity, uh, each student, each tutor proposed to uh, the group of students uh, automatic assessment to check uh, the understanding. Uh, and um, it, um, it helps to perform a self paced uh, a self-paced approach to the study, so each student uh, can uh, do the exercise uh, that uh, they need when they need, uh, and the tutor is facilitated in the management of the class, uh, because when uh, students uh, solve these uh, exercises, uh, um, automatically graded uh, during the lessons. In the afternoon, um, each student is automatically guided by the system uh, to the problems. Um, it is possible to provide a step-by-step guided solution to problems so that students can learn a method while trying to solve the problem. And uh, uh, mistakes acquire an educational value. And it is uh, really important for students who are uh, 
reluctant to, to the study, um, it's difficult for them to be interested to the subject. Uh, they can also do repeated attempts, uh, finding different uh, um, values, uh, so repeat the, they have to repeat the reasoning and not only to repeat the, uh, to, to memorize the answer and to write it again. Uh, it fosters, this system also fosters students' autonomy and self-awareness. All these materials are available in Moodle, a virtual learning environment that we use, so the um, students can track their own progress and the tutor can uh, monitor the classroom learning. Uh, and uh, all the materials are also suitable for dyslexic uh, or for other uh, learning diseases. Uh, first of all, because uh, uh, all the Moodle platform and also the, um, the, the presentation that uh, uh, you can see here is uh, written using easy reading, that is the font at uh, high legibility. Um, in, uh, within the platform, um, students have also the chance, uh, uh, tutors have also the chance to know students better through questionnaires, through their profile, through uh, forums, uh, discussion, through chats, and so on. Uh, just uh, two words about the results of this project. Uh, first of all, um, the first results that we observed is the improving in students' grade. In fact, uh, um, students achieved uh, the sufficiency in the subject in which they, they have difficulties. Improvements uh, are higher for experimental mathematics courses than um, for traditional ones. And uh, um, these improvements are almost one point out of 10. Um, but the, um, the important thing is that experimental mathematics uh, um, attenders, more than traditional ones, uh, think that uh, these results are due to the course that uh, they, they have attended uh, and they would repeat the course, they appreciated the course. Uh, more than the results, uh, the, the grading results, uh, students, uh, um, according to the self-evaluation that uh, um, uh, emerged by the questionnaires, um, uh, found interest in the subject and uh, self-awareness of their capabilities to succeed. Uh, according to teachers and tutors, uh, students improved in self-awareness in individuating the real cause of their difficulties in the attitude towards math, in the participation in classroom, uh, easiness of learning, uh, and so on, collaboration with other students. Um, all these, uh, uh, all these results uh, have been obtained more by uh, experimental mathematics uh, in experimental mathematics courses than in uh, traditional ones, uh, and uh, they are really important for the um, because the learning is not just to reach the sufficient, but to prepare the the path to the next lessons, to the next year, and to um, to get better. Um, in, in a permanent way. So in conclusion, the experimental methodologies facilitate tutors in applying adaptive teaching strat strategies, and these methodologies are effective for overcoming difficulties. Um, experimental methodologies uh, after the first courses were adopted also in Italian and Latin courses that uh, were added to the project. Um, the design of an experimental course of English is under development. Uh, then also teacher training uh, action was undertaken uh, so that the um, teachers could uh, adopt the same methodologies in synergy with the tutor. Okay, if you have any question, I'm here. 